The equilibrium expression shows the relationship between the products and reactants, specifically when the reaction is at equilibrium. The equilibrium expression is a ratio between the concentration of the products raised to their coefficients and the concentration of the reactants raised to their coefficients. The brackets refer to concentration, and the C in KC also refers to concentration. To find the equilibrium expression of a reaction, we must use the given balanced chemical equation. A super important rule to know is that in an equilibrium expression, we only include substances that are in their gas or aqueous states. We never include solids or liquids. Keeping this rule in mind, here are the three trick questions to watch out for. Trick question number one is when something cancels out on each side. The question asks us to write the equilibrium expression for the following reaction. Recall that whenever you are writing the equilibrium expression, we only include gases and aqueous solutions, not solids or liquids. So we will not include these solids. We will only include these gases. Starting with our product of O2, we will place this in brackets. This goes on top. Since there is no shown coefficient in front of O2, this is how we know that there's no exponent. Next, our reactant of CO2 goes on the bottom and in brackets. Since there is a coefficient of 2 in front of CO2, we will account for this by placing the 2 as our exponent. This is the correct equilibrium expression for this reaction. There's so much more to chemical equilibrium than just writing equilibrium expressions. There's actually a lot of math involved. But not to worry, I just made a chemical equilibrium course that goes from explaining the basics to the advanced to even more trick questions, regardless of your math skills or chemistry level. All for less than the price of a tutor. Don't wait till your exam is here. Purchase the course using the link below because it won't be posted on YouTube. Do this now and give yourself a fair chance to succeed on your next exam. All right, let's continue to the next trick. Trick question number two is when there are only reactants left. Again, we will not include solids or liquids in our equilibrium expression. So we will only have CO2 in our expression. Beware. This would not just be Cl2 in brackets. That would be wrong because Cl2 is a reactant and not a product. Instead, we will place a 1 on top since there are no products we can use, and the Cl2 will go on the bottom since it's a reactant. And this 2 coefficient becomes the exponent. This is the correct equilibrium expression for this reaction. Trick question number three is when there are only products left. We will not include the solid. Only the gases will be in our equilibrium expression. We will start with writing our products first. We'll place N2O in brackets. Next to this will be H2O in brackets. We'll account for the two coefficient in front of H2O by placing it as our exponent for only H2O. Since there is no reactant that we can use in our expression, this means there is no denominator. This is the correct equilibrium expression for this reaction. You know, there are some equilibrium questions that require the use of the quadratic formula. To learn how to build ice tables and when to use the quadratic formula, click on this next video.